I'm just gonna be honest here, I am not at all prepared for this. That right there is a legendary elk, and to be honest, from this angle at least, I don't really see what makes it legendary. There might be some additional white like on the main part of the body, but essentially, since last time there were a number of things that I learned. Number one, a lot of you guys told me you can actually hold down the fire button on the bow. It's like when we go to draw back, if I can get out the proper weapon here, essentially, I have to left click, you can see the arrow actually gets drawn back, and that is going to get me a lot more power when I shoot. But the other and main thing is, I learned that the more animals of a particular species that you shoot, the better your odds of getting a legendary to spawn. So, as I've been shooting a bunch of elk, bison, and mule deer on the Bandera region of Texas, I've been pretty much using the 30 odd 6, and therefore, I've not gotten much practice with the bow, at least in the proper way, drawing back and getting all that power. So, we're gonna really try to get in close here. I'm gonna try to call him in, maybe if we can set up with a good view. But that is a nice looking elk, so I'm a little bit nervous. I really don't wanna mess this up, but maybe if we can get a good setup, I think I've actually got scent spray, elk urine, and the elk collar, so. We've got the proper equipment, this was one that I was hoping to get. We just need to get the setup proper. One thing I will do is go ahead and put Scent Spray on now. We still have two more uses of that, but I don't want to call or anything like that until we're definitely set up where we want to be. I do actually want to test though, because I haven't shot the bow at all today, which is a bit unfortunate, but a quick practice shot of the bow is very silent, so I'm not worried that the elk might hear that, but 25 meters, no big deal. The range, unfortunately, doesn't give a lot of options to shoot farther than that, so I don't know the, I guess, fourth and fifth pin down that well, but if we need to work with them, maybe we can try another practice shot. I actually had no idea you could collect arrows, so that's kind of cool that we didn't even have to waste that, but should be just over the hill here somewhere, and if we can work the wind, all the better, but hopefully, yeah, they're right out there, pretty much right where we want them. That's our guy just beyond calling range. I mean, this is good and open. I kind of want to use... That might be the way. I kind of want to use that hunting stand, so maybe we'll get in behind them and try to sneak into there, set up the urine spray, and just sort of get ourselves a perfect shot opportunity. The only problem I see is, I believe that was the legendary bugling there, is making sure that we get here without spooking them and before they walk out of like calling and scent range, I think we're about at the right kind of rate right now. I'm trying to make sure that legendary never gets within like 120 and I don't know what the spook rate is. I'm sure the legendaries are harder to get. But what I want to do is put the urine spray roughly 25 from the tower, which is about here. Make sure we're out in the open. I'm not sure which that is. So what I'm going to do real quick is actually hit the bugle just to try to turn them around we'll go ahead and put the urine spray down here i hope this is the right spot i guess we're going to find out and then the other thing we need to do is get rocky over here and then if i can get him to kind of stay i think when you go into the tower actually they just automatically stay under the tower i think we might have just spooked that one i hope the legendary wasn't there yet yeah i think we got off lucky here that's the legendary. They do have different antlers, and I will say, better looking antlers. He's just coming straight in though, so the only worry I have is with Rocky. I don't know what's gonna happen there. We can see a little more of the piebald in his fur though, which is pretty neat. I don't know just how good these towers hide you, but I mean, this guy doesn't seem to know we're here. So he should stop, I assume, right at our scent spray. Seems to be kind of hanging out there. So, maybe a little low? I don't think that was high enough. Now, in my experience, they don't actually spook that bad. He may come back, which is an odd thing, but I was messing with the bow a little bit. Unless that was a kill shot and I sort of misidentified it. I don't think it was though. Okay, so clearly he ran for quite some time, 400 meters out there. So, we're just going to go ahead and try to close the distance a bit with what stamina we have. And now we don't have a tower to work with. I'd like to imagine that 
I guess if we're going to like wound a big game species with a bow and then hopefully eventually get it, one of the most kind of realistic situations that could happen would be an elk. I really want to know where we hit this and like I said, I've messed with bow hunting before a little bit, trying to call animals into a tower. I had some Yordir do it, and they actually came back, but that may have been because they weren't a legendary, but one thing I was able to see was actually the location of the arrow. I don't see it in this guy, so I don't even know what went wrong, but what we need to make sure we do is get completely properly set up before we use our set eliminator, because we only have two more uses, and we really cannot afford to waste those, so he is within calling range now. I think this is probably as good a spot as we can get. Let's actually get Rocky to come over here and stay. Come on. And we'll go ahead and hit the caller. I don't know if using the urine spray is necessary, but I'm guessing he's going to come this way. Although at first glance, he's not doing a whole lot of turning. Stay in position. This could get a lot tougher. I truly don't know if he's trying to come into a call or if he's just kind of going this way because I managed to jump ahead of him and I finally see that arrow kind of got him in the leg. So we definitely need to be a little bit higher. I'm not sure if he's going to keep coming this way or turn at all, but right now we're kind of in a good spot again. I think he might be just starting to notice us. I can see that color turning a bit yellow. He's around that 25 range. I think we're going to try this. That's how we got a long shot. Man, I have no idea what would have happened if we couldn't have gotten that shot off and gotten ahead of him. He wasn't coming into calls. I still don't know if that was like a response to a call or what, but that was a really long chase for what I thought was going to be so simple. We had that tower, which I think... No, it's not the same one. We started out in this one. Not too far away, though, was where we initially encountered him. And I do think there's a chance. Like, we're near the east border of the map. He might have fled over there and not been able to go any further. And that may well be why he actually ended up coming back. But I want to get a screenshot for sure of Rocky standing there with him. And I actually wouldn't mind one kind of like maybe bow equipped. If we can kind of see it, well, not really, but we'll get something like that. And no doubt, this is one we want to keep. And I'm pretty sure, actually, the harvest screen is all yellow. I want to say it's white with the normal animals. Two shots, one that didn't go to plan. And I like that it wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. As I said, I've had animals before that I've hit poorly with the bow, ultimately not um, really spooked that far. If we can, we might go ahead and try to fill that elk license, if for no other reason than the fact that hunting legendaries turns out to be pretty cool, and I like that it is kind of grind-driven in a way. As I mentioned, I was not prepared to be doing this, and I really would have liked to practice a bit more with the bow, but in the end, we managed on our redemption chance. By the way, the one that he was traveling with, and this is that same second bull, is actually not too bad either. and. I'm sort of intrigued to compare the scores, so one way or another, I do want to make sure we get this guy. I keep getting confused about which optic is which. He's kind of alert there. The legendary got closer than this guy is, at least as far as how alert he is. That's about 25, though. Let's see if we can do this again. Yeah, go figure. With a little bit of practice, we were absolutely fine, and maybe... Actually, I don't think I would have tried like a practice shot on a live animal with the legendary coming in. But maybe had we not spooked this guy originally by placing the urine spray, we could have had some kind of potential for a practice shot and been all good. But like I said, I like the way it went. I like that there was actually a little bit of practice and then difficulty trying to get back out of him. The whole hunt and stock and everything actually turned out to be pretty cool. But now with a proper comparison to an adult elk, I think we'll go back to the cabin, especially having filled our elk license, and we'll compare those scores and then go back to the lodge and take a look at our legendary. And I need to make sure that I do actually keep the right one. So into the menu to claim animals. This is our legendary here, which is a 286. 
I'm pretty sure I've seen higher scores from non-legendary animals just like posted on social media, but I'm not certain. We'll go ahead and keep that and definitely replace the previous. And then yeah, that was a 155 adult, which like I said, wasn't too bad, but we'll sell that. We'll go back to the lodge now and we'll climb the stairs and take a look at our new legendary elk. And it would make sense. I'd say they are the species that we've shot the most of. I do like the rack. It's only that little bit, though, in the lodge that we actually get to see, which is kind of unfortunate, but at the very least, there's something there. As I mentioned, I've been working on Mule Deer as well, and I just saw one posted on social medias as well in the Trophy Lodge. There's basically nothing to see as far as, like, that piebald uh, coat. So the fact that we got an elk, the fact that there's a little bit of something visible, that I am very pleased with. But yeah, I think, at least for now, we are kind of done with our Throwback Thursday variation of the Hunting Sim 2 playthrough, but that was a lot of fun. I wouldn't be too surprised if I come back eventually to try to get another Legendary, but for now I think we're going to move on to another game. Having gotten a Legendary with a bow, I am quite pleased with that. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.